And now, Joe Bob Summer School and American Graffiti on TNT. Okay, the 60s civil rights statement, Hairspray by the man who invented Odorama. We're here in the home of John Waters in the film capital of the world, Baltimore, Maryland, for Cinema Studies 101 here on Joe Bob Summer School. And, uh, John, I wanted to ask you, is that dance the roach a real dance, or did you make that up? No, it's a real dance. You First you squirt the bug spray, and then you squish the roach, and you squish the roach with the other foot, and then kill that roach. It was a real song. And the bug, you get a disease, and then you throw it to somebody else, and they catch the disease. So the roach and the bug are both from 1963? They're real dances. Yeah, we used to do them. Okay. Our next flick is an early film of George Lucas's that takes place the same year as Hairspray. But first, I want to let people know that next week we'll be back in the classroom for UFO Studies 666, where we'll be showing Mars Attacks, featuring guest lecturer UFO expert Stanton Friedman. That's followed by the 1956 classic Forbidden Planet, and uh, we'll be joined by cult heartthrob Anne Francis. Do you ever meet Anne Francis? No, I haven't, but I like her, certainly. Yeah. She's great. She's had a whole second career now. She goes around... Well, she basically, it's, it's the same career. She goes around promoting uh, Forbidden Planet everywhere. That's good. These young kids, they know everything about weird movies. That's very healthy. Okay. And believe it or not, I, I have seen comparisons to you and George Lucas before. You have? I've never seen that one. Movie Line magazine once said, like George Lucas, the films of John Waters take place in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I've seen my films placed in foreign in video shops. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> However, we're going to show Baltimore. Right. You know. However, we're going to show George's pre-Star Wars flick, American Graffiti. It's the summer of 1962, and Ron Howard, Richard Dreyfuss, Harrison Ford, Cindy Williams, and a bunch of other folks you'll recognize. Suzanne Somers. Suzanne Somers. They all, I think, in her first role, yeah. they all cruise around Modesto, California, drag racing, making out, and listening to Wolfman Jack. And uh, ju just like Hairspray was based on John Waters' youth, this is based on George Lucas's younger days. So, John, would you do me the favor of doing the drive-in totals for us? Okay, we have no dead bodies, no breaths, one fist fight, four make-out sessions, three fender benders, three motor vehicle crash and burn with explosions. We call that a barbecue here. Water balloon to the face, ankle rip, oh, ax axle ripping, cruising, well, I'll leave that one alone, pantsing, what's that mean? That's ripping, ripping the pants off somebody. Oh, that's called foreplay. Booze stealing, booze puking, one of my favorites, and hey, four star rating. Okay, not a whole lot of numbers. I mean, kind of a soft movie. I by wish you look at some of my old ones would have gone off the puka chart. A that's puka right. meter would have been high. The uh, the vomit meter. That's yeah. right. This is one of those coming of age type flicks. Check it out. We'll be back at the first break with film scholar John Waters. Roll film. Did you talk about George Lucas in that filmmaking class you taught at the prisons? No, because we, I wanted to show him films that were illegal for them to. What was the favorite film in prison? I'm embarrassed to say this. The Champ, the remake. That sickly sentimental one? And the one they hated the most? Streetcar Named Desire with Marlon Brando. It's really shocked me. 